Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson 10. And in this lesson, we're going to be solving multiple step measurement word problems. So basically, we're going to be just practicing everything that we've been learning up until this point. But we're doing it in word problems and we're doing it with kind of like big word problems because it's multiple steps or multi-step problems. So let's get started. All right, so this one says on Saturday, Jeff used two quarts one cup of water from a full gallon. So that's kind of important stuff. So let's underline that. So he used two quarts, one cup from a full gallon to replace some water that leaked from his fish tank. And then on Sunday, he used three pints of water from the same gallon. So that seems pretty important from that same gallon. Uh, how much water was left in the gallon after Sunday. So basically what's going on here? Well, we have a, a bucket, like a gallon bucket. All right. And first, um, he, he used two quarts, one cup. Then he used another three pints. And so we want to know how much is still in that bucket. Uh, and remembering that we started with one gallon. All right, so first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add two quarts plus one cup plus three pints. Oh my goodness. So the idea is, remember, uh, let's do that good queen thing. So you've got, let's, oops, yikes. I don't want to undo that. I don't want to have that little mark there. Okay, so let's do, let's see, we have good Queen's preferred chocolate. So we have 1, 4, 8, 16. So what does that mean? That means one gallon is equal to 16 cups. And if we wanted to, we could say that um, we could use a little bit of division and we could see that one quart is equal to two pints which is equal to four quarts, uh, four cups. So there's a, a variety of, of, of relationships that that good queen <laughs> prefers chocolate <laughs> will give us. I, that, that phrase just cracks me up. So anyway, so we're going to use that in solving this problem. So let's see. One thing that we might want to do is we might, since we're talking about cups, and cups is the smallest unit of measurement, um, as you recall over here. So we've got gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and cups. So we might want to just convert everything into cups. By the way, if it's two pints equals four cups, that means one pint equals two cups. So we've got a bunch of measurements going on here, a bunch of relationships. All right, and so... Let's turn everything into cups. So let's take a look at two quarts and one cup. And then we know that we're going to have to add three pints, okay? So there's the math problem that we're trying to do right here. Two quarts, one cup, plus three pints. Well, let's start by converting everything into cups because those are the smallest units. So, and again, I don't remember. Quarts, how many cups in a quart? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look and I could see that, oh, four cups equals one quart. All right. So four cups equals one quart. So if four cups equals one quart plus another four quarts uh, cups equals the other quart, so that means two quarts equals eight cups plus the one cup that's already there. That gives us nine cups plus, now we have to change three pints into cups. So let's see. One pint is equal to two cups. One pint is equal to two cups. 
Well, if one pint is equal to two cups, then three pints is equal to six. Because three times two, six cups. So that's equal to 15 cups. Now I happen to remember that a full-on gallon is equal to 16 cups. So if we have used all together right here, this is equal to 15 cups because it says so right there, 15 cups. Well, that means there's only one cup left over. So how much water is left over on Sunday? One cup is left over. One cup is left over. Now the rest of these, I'm just going to kind of set up the scene, but I'm not actually going to finish the problem. So it says, to make punch, Julia poured one quart, three cups of ginger ale into a bowl and then added twice as much fruit juice. How much punch did she make in all? So we have ginger ale and then we have fruit. And we know that ginger ale is this much, and it was one quart, three cups. Now, fruit punch, she did twice as much, so we're going to have two of those. So here's another one quart, three cups, and here's another one quart, three cups. So if we want to know how much punch did she make in all, we are going to add all of this together. So we're going to add one quart three cups, plus one quart three cups, plus one quart three cups. And that's your job, is to add those up and then simplify as necessary. So we've got Patty. And Patty went swimming for one hour, 15 minutes on Monday. That seems pretty important, so let's underline it. On Tuesday, she sw swam twice as long as she swam on Monday. So that's kind of the, the important part right there, twice as long. And then on Wednesday, she swam 50 minutes less than the time she swam on Tuesday. So we've got Monday, we've got Tuesday, and we've got Wednesday. Now on Monday, she swam for one hour, 15 minutes. On Tuesday, she swam twice as long. So we got this one plus one more. So that's total. I'm going to skip a step here and just kind of jump in and say that's two hours, 30 minutes. And then it says on Wednesday, she swam 50 minutes less than Tuesday. So I'm just going to make it shorter and call it 50 minutes less. So that means we don't exactly know what Wednesday is. So the question is, how much time did she spend swimming? Uh, during that three-day period. So the question is, what's her total for all three days? So you got two steps. The first step is you have to do some subtraction from 50, uh, 50 minutes. You have to subtract 2 hours, 30 minutes, minus the 50. So you have to subtract to figure out Wednesday. And then you need to add Monday plus Tuesday plus Wednesday. And that will give you your final answer. So Maya is four feet two inches tall. Her sister is ten inches taller. Their little brother is half as tall as Allie. All right. How tall is their little brother in feet and inches? So there's the big question right there. So we've got three characters. We've got Maya, we've got Allie, and we've got B for brother. So Maya is four feet two inches tall. So there is Maya and it's four feet two inches tall. Now Allie is four feet two inches tall plus ten inches. 
because it says so right here. She's 10 inches taller than Maya. So we're going to start with Maya, but add in an extra 10 inches. And by the way, what is that? That's um, 5 feet because 4 feet 2 inches plus 10 inches. So that's 2 inches plus 10 inches is 12 inches. That's a foot. So Allie is 5 feet. Now, brother is, and I'm going to do it in green, is exactly half of, of Allie. And we know that Allie is 5 feet. So the brother has to be half of 5 feet. So if you think about half of 5 feet, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, half is right here. So it's 2 full feet plus a half a foot, that's 6 inches. So the brother is 2 feet 6 inches. And the last problem, Rick and Lori have three dogs. Diesel weighs 89 pounds, 12 ounces. Sheesh. Ebony weighs 33 pounds, 14 ounces less than Diesel. The boy, that's a tricky one. You got to read all the way through and notice that it says less than Diesel. And lastly, Luna is the smallest at 10 pounds, 2 ounces. What is the combined weight of the three? So you've got Diesel, you've got Ebony, and you've got Luna. And we're going to start with Diesel. And Diesel right here is 89 pounds, 12 ounces. Oh my goodness, what a dog. So 89, 12. 89 pounds, 12 ounces, all right? So then, Ebony weighs 33 pounds, 14 ounces less than Diesel. All right, so what does that mean? Well, that means Ebony, her tape diagram is going to be less, it's going to be less length, <laughs> and uh, we're going to subtract. So it's this part that is less, right? This is the part that she's less than. And uh, what was the number again? It was 33 pounds, 14 ounces, right here. 33 pounds, 14 ounces. So that piece right here is 33 pounds, 14 ounces. Now, I am not drawing this to scale at all. If I could have, that would be cool, but I don't have to. 33 pounds, 14 ounces is the, the portion that's less than diesel. So I'm crossing it off, I'm making it all messy, and that's okay. So in order for us to find ebony, this piece right here, we know that we would need to subtract diesel minus 33 pounds, 14 ounces. And that would give us ebony. Now the last one, Luna. She's the smallest at 10 pounds, 2 ounces. So that means she is right here at 10 pounds, 2 ounces ounces. And so that we're supposed to figure out the combined weight of the three dogs. What is the combined weight? So we got a couple of steps. First step is we need to do some subtraction to figure out ebony. And then we can do addition to figure out the answer. And that wraps up a fun one. That was fourth grade module seven lesson 10, multi-step problems. Multi-step problems involving measurement.